Hello and welcome to this Online College of Coding video tutorial series. This is the eighth video in the series of Breaky Blocks Intermediate in Game Maker. In this video, we're finally making the game end and restart again. Before watching this video, it's recommended you've seen the previous videos in the series, as well as the introduction to Game Maker and Intermediate Programming Concept videos. Let's get started. When a ball collides with the death wall, it gets destroyed. And when there's no more balls left, we need the game to end. So open the death wall object and select the collision event with the ball. And drag in from the control tab a test instance count action. Set the object to be the ball, leave the number at zero and leave the operation at equals to. Then press OK. And drag in one each of these arrows. So if the number of balls in the room is ever equal to zero, anything we place between the arrows will get run then and only then. Drag an execute code action in between the arrows. Just drag the window down to double check it's in between the arrows. We need to type the following code. When setting the alarm zero to the value of room speed, that's going to be one second. And keeping in mind that this code is only going to get run once there's no more balls left in the room, we've got an alarm that's going to go off one second after the player loses the game. We can use this alarm to reset the game, and then we have a nice one second pause. You'll see. Now we need to actually create the event that will be triggered to correspond with the alarm zero. So I click the add event button and select alarm zero. From the main one tab of actions, drag in a restart the current room action. This is the alarm event getting triggered after there's no more balls left in the room. Now press OK and test the game to see how that works. To test, we can let the ball bounce off some of the bricks and then down to the death wall. After one second, the game restarts. Awesome. The final touch to making the game end and restart is adding an explosion when the ball gets destroyed, just for a little bit more oomph. So open the ball object and click the add event button to add a destroy event. When the ball's destroyed, we need to go to the main one section of the actions list and drag in a create instance. So we can create an instance of the explosion object at zero, zero relative to the ball. Close both of those windows and let's test it out. What we're expecting to see is once the ball hits the death wall, an explosion is created. And then after one second, our alarm expires and the game resets. Very cool. This marks the end of part eight in our Breaky Blocks tutorial series. As always, well done for making it this far through the series. Stay tuned, I will see you in the next video.